the vaccines themselves, uh, on their release, they were declared to be safe and effective by the FDA in America and by the TGA in Australia. Uh, there are now those starting to say we're not quite so sure about the long-term impacts. Um, do you have a view? So I've been particularly distressed at the, the ferocity with which these vaccines have been marketed to people who didn't have much of a risk from, from COVID to begin with, and all with this overlay of, well, it's good for society, right? That to me is very dangerous, and it goes to this point of coercion. If you use social structures to coerce people into taking medical decisions, that is a violation of fundamental human medical autonomy. It is a violation, I believe, of the Nuremberg Code because of the fact that these vaccines are still only provisional visually approved. Uh, it's an experimental drug. It's an experiment. It's a medical experiment. Uh, so that's, I think, another thing that's going to come out in the wash after another two or three or four years. I do expect to, despite the fact that I agree that the vaccines can be useful for some people in the population in consultation with their doctors, I still expect that Pfizer leadership will probably end up in jail. I think there will probably be some jail time. We'll probably end up in jail. I think there will probably be some jail time. Certainly some very, very, very steep fines, as they have paid in the past. And so I'm not being conspiracy theorist, but just as a scientist, I look at that as somebody who...